Ever struggled with writing SQL queries? Do you wish you could just type what you want in plain English and have your database understand? Well, that's exactly what Chat2DB does. No complicated code, no back and forth between tools, just simple AI-powered SQL at your fingertips. My name is Daniel, and in this video I will show you how Chat2DB can transform the way you work with databases. We'll go through how to set it up, connect to a database, and even use AI to generate and optimize queries. And by the end you'll see how Chat2DB can save you time and effort while making database management way more intuitive. Let's dive in! What is Chat2DB? Imagine working with databases without struggling to write SQL queries. That's exactly what Chat2DB does. It's an AI-powered SQL tool that turns natural language into SQL queries, making database management faster and easier. But this isn't just another chatbot that generates SQL for you to copy and paste. Chat2DB connects directly to your database, so you can run queries in real time. No need to switch between tools, just type what you need, and Chat2DB does the rest. It's not just about making queries, though. The built-in AI SQL editor helps optimize slow queries, explain complex ones, and even improve performance. It understands your database better than generic AI tools, because it's trained with real user-created data, making it more accurate and reliable. And for those worried about security, Chat2DB runs locally. Your data never leaves your environment, meaning no risk of it being transferred to an external AI model. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, Chat2DB makes SQL simple, powerful, and secure. How it works? So let me show you how this system that uses AI to generate database queries works. Even if you don't know SQL and have no tech background, this tool can help you create reports, visualize data, and work with ERP system databases as part of your business processes. It's fully protected on Windows, macOS, and Linux. The system comes in two main versions, Pro and Local. Plus, there's full documentation to guide you through the installation process. So, let's download it and check out the app. Let's switch to the Pro version of the app and set up a database connection. We can work with databases from our ERP system, online stores, or any other supported databases. The app works with MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, and more. Pretty much any database version. If needed, we can also upload custom drivers to make it work with specific databases. Now, let's connect to a MySQL database. Here's how many database drivers are supported here. You can also upload your own drivers if you don't find something you need or you're using some specific database. We just need to enter the host, username and password. Once we are connected, the system will suggest setting up AI data collection right away. We can simply click Affirm to get AI data collection, which will be generated automatically. We can either create a new AI data collection or group up an existing one. In this collection, we need to add all the tables from our database. We'll be working with the Tables section from the demo database which includes categories like customers, products, and more. Basically, everything we need to manage orders in our ERP system. Next, we need to sync all the data and give our collection a name. Let's call it ERP. It will include all the selected tables. Let's wait for the collection to be created. Done! The ERP collection is now ready. So, what is a collection? Think of it as a bridge between the main database and the AI. It helps us interact with the database more easily using AI-powered features. For example, in each table we can write a column name, meaning we create custom table names for the AI, and add comments explaining what we want to communicate to the AI. This helps the AI understand more flexibly what to look for when we give it queries 
and details about our specific database structure, making its suggestions more helpful. With this system, we can generate SQL code using natural language. For example, we can create a new table in the database by clicking Create Table. And we'll see the Table Copilot, where we can describe what we want to create. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Let's say we want to create a table that links managers to orders. We'll name it Manager Orders. The first column name could be, for example, ID. We can run this query, and Table Copilot will immediately create the SQL query for us, which we can run right away. And we'll see that a new table, Manager Orders, was created. We're looking at it now. It has one cell for ID, but no data yet. Let's add a few more cells. We can do that like this. It's very similar to adding columns in phpMyAdmin, and it will be written like this. Or we can ask Table Copilot to add a column and call it Order ID. So this will link the manager to the order they are handling. And we can see that Table Copilot adds the column for us. Let's run this code. Even without knowing the language, you can do this stress-free. We can also use the SQL editor for this table, where we can either write our own SQL query or use slash with natural language to tell the AI what we want. For example, we can say add a column customer ID and ask the AI to create the SQL code in this console. We can also add our own code here and use the suggestions the AI gives us to help complete our SQL queries. Let's run the query. And we'll see that the customer ID column has been added to the manager orders table. If we refresh and click on customer ID, we can see it there. We can also use this tool to generate test data. For the table we just created, we can see that the AI creates 10 test entries for our table. Let's run it. And we see that all the columns have been added. We refresh. And all the columns are there. You can also use the visual editor to view and edit the data. For example, we can set the values to zero or change the data. It's all really easy to do through this interface. We can also manage other tables that have data and easily modify or control the data in the database. And for example, it's also easy to manage the columns. For instance, we can delete a column from the database. And you can do all that through this web interface a simple visual interface for managing tables in the database. We can also easily export and import data. For example, we can export the data from our table to an Excel or CSV file, or we can export the results as SQL code. We can also export the results to an existing Excel spreadsheet. CSV page or insert SQL page. Or we can simply export the data structure into an SQL file. And just like that, we can grab the entire database with its structure and data. And we can use the same method to import data, 
for example, using CSV, XLS, or SQL files. The system also has the ability to visualize data with the help of artificial intelligence, where we can create our own dashboard and analyze the data in our table. Let's say we'll make it as dashboard. Without regular updates, we can set it to refresh every minute. So a fully functional ERP or CRM system, which works live with the database, will send data here for you to analyze. And let's say we want to create a chart where we sort employees by their age. For this, we can create a query like employee age chart. And we see how the AI created this chart for us, where we can adjust how we use it and which lines to include. For instance, we can do it like this. We can choose the color theme, add a legend, data labels and so on. This means you can fully customize the chart and its appearance. You can also use the chart by manually selecting the data configuration or by using SQL queries, where you can write your own queries to fetch data from your database. In the Data Configuration section, you can also adjust which data should be displayed in the chart. You can make these adjustments by writing your own queries and converting natural language into SQL. Don't forget to select the Data Collection option. And there is also a built-in chat feature that helps analyze the data. You can even generate SQL queries and work with them using Excel. You can upload your Excel file here, analyze it and work with it. For example, let's upload a CSV file and run a query Excel using the chat feature. We can ask it to analyze the data and give us the total data value for December 2024. The system will generate an SQL query for our CSV file and provide the total data value for that month. You can also create your own chat using data collection and generate SQL queries. Plus, you can add plugins and collaborate with the team if you subscribe to the team's plan. Final thoughts. And that's Chat2DB. As you can see, it makes working with databases so much easier, whether you're a beginner just getting started with SQL or a pro looking to optimize your workflow. No more struggling with complex queries or switching between tools. Just type what you need and let the AI handle the rest. Now, I would love to hear from you. Give Chat2DB a try and see how it works for your projects. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did it help you speed up your work? What features did you find the most useful? Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. Thanks for watching. Until next time.